Hello folks, some quick layout testing going on today. This is the sort of first time I've put the uncoupling mechanisms onto the layout, which are these little levers down here. So I'm going to be giving those a go with a test of a shunting puzzle. This is based off the sort of standard ingle nook type arrangement. So I have a few hastily written cards with the van names on, or the wagon names on, and we're going to rearrange these. So the idea is the train is coming this way with the brake van on the end, and it needs to be rearranged and sent back out this way with the brake van on the opposite end. The only real variation to the normal Inglenook system, which will be using these two back sidings here, is that at some point I will need to take this van out and take it down to the stores at that end. That's to sort of simulate this would eventually be a gunpowder van or something delivering to the explosive stores for the quarry down the end here. So let's shuffle the order and see what we come up with. I'm just picking these at random. So we have machinery wagon on this end, sort of minus, minus the brake van, I haven't written that one down because I know it's going to be on this end. Next one, machinery wagon, which is this open here. Then we have the ore hopper, which is this wagon here. The SECR van, this one here that I need to take down to the gunpowder stores. SECR open, which is this one on the end and the S-E-R open, which is the red oxide one here. I'm running the train. Today we have the Manning Wardle class Q number 353 on loan from Ashford Carriage Works as the shunter. So let's give it a go and see what happens. So there we have it, number 353 has now assembled its train correctly. Um, I'm pretty happy overall with the layout performance. There's a couple of um, wagons that need the coupling height corrected, um, just so it couples and uncouples smoothly without me having to hold the wagon down. Um, and a couple of areas of track that need a little bit of attention as well to stop things derailing. But overall, pretty positive. <laughs> <laughs> 